What is up, everybody? Master King JC here, back again, bringing you another installment of Anime Versus. This month's topic will be, who is the most perverted? Who is the most perverted uh, in shonen manga history? Orochimaru, that snake motherfucker, versus Isoka, that clown magician motherfucker. Seriously. Orochimaru, this nigga, he was obsessed with Sasuke since like, what, volume six? I mean, you could just tell by the way he he was looking at him, he's like, Sasuke, <laughs> Sasuke, I want your body. <laughs> Yo, you can just tell by the way this nigga is looking at Sasuke that he wants him. You can tell. I know, but you're going to say, oh, but he just wants him, you know, as uh, a vessel, you know, for to live him, to uh, live on forever. You know, he wants him as a, as a host. No, 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 nigga, he wants to fuck Sasuke. He want you could just. Hell, he wants to fuck Sasuke, seriously. And you know he fucked Kabuto. You know he fucked Kabuto. Every day. Every day of the week. You know he fucked that nigga Kabuto. Kabuto got it up the ass. Every day for Orochimaru. You can just tell by looking at that nigga. Seriously, Orochimaru is fucking perverted. Oh, I do not want to be in the same fucking room as Orochimaru. Seriously, well, I don't know why you want to be next to that nigga. At all. Fuck the nigga. Fuck Orochimaru. Now he's Soka. Now I'm not that caught with Hunter Hunter. I'm like on volume 10. So from the first 10 volumes I read of Hunter Hunter, um, Isoka, what I think about him, he is perverted too. He is fucking perverted. Like, in the Heaven's Arena tournament, he got a fucking boner while when he was about to fight against Gon, he got a fucking boner. He's like, you see how excited you're making me? Oh, <laughs> got a fucking boner right there. For, about, when he was about to fight an 11 year old boy, an 11 year old boy, and that's not perverted. I don't know what is. He, he seems obsessed with Gon. He seems obsessed with Gon. I, it, it just. It, he just gives off that vibe, man. He gives off that perverted vibe that he wants to... That he's like a pedophile. I'm serious. I'm serious. I like you so good. I think he's badass. But he gives off that pedophile vibe. Like, all over the place. Seriously. Yo, you know if he had the opportunity, he would have raped Gon. He was a, in fact, he was about to rape Gon. I I think during the, the Hunter exam, it looked like he was about to rape Gon in that one instance. Uh, when they were in that forest. It, it seemed like he was about to rape him. But yeah, fucking Isoka, he's fucking perverted too. Two perverted niggas. Two! So yeah, but Hiroshi, Orochimaru, he, he gets the trophy on this one. This nigga is fucking perverted. I mean, he's, 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 he's been obsessed with Sasuke since like, what, day one? Since all the way back in part one. All the way back in part one. He's been obsessed with Sasuke. And when Sasuke tried to betray him, he got all pissed off and turned into like a giant snake. You know, a giant snake, which is simple for, you know... <laughs> yeah, so silly, Orochimaru, fucking between pervertedness, silly. Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Fuck both you niggas. Fucking perverted. Fucking perverted that nigga. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, this is Mask King JC. Uh, I'll see you guys again next time. And, um, yeah, fucking Orochimaru. This nigga is extremely perverted. Yo, he's like... He's like the Michael Jackson <laughs> of the Naruto. No, no. I don't want to compare him to Michael Jackson. That's like a, that's like an insult comparing what you model to Michael Jackson. But yeah. So yeah. See you guys later. Peace out. Keep on keeping on.